So if you want to follow this system of classification, you start by measuring the disk size. As we said before, using the slit lamp, then having this correcting factor, then put the size as an average, if it's between 1 and 1.5 to 2 millimeters, or less or more, depending. Then make the, the neural tissue thickness all around, and define the narrowest part. Now, if this narrowest part is zero, if the area with the zero is between in the circumference less than 45 degrees, this is one stage. If it's more than that, but less than 90, another stage. If it's more than 90, but less than 135 of the circumference, more advanced, more, but less than 180, more than 180, but less than 225, more than 225, but less than 270. So this is the point. The area of the zero in relation to the circumference, how many degrees of the 360? The higher, the wider the area, the more the stage. So for example here, this area of a zero is in 30 degrees of the circumference. This one is in 100 degrees of the circumference. This in 160 degrees of the circumference. This is in 200 degrees of the circumference. Then we can put this lens in this, in, in, or this disc in his uh, a similar or suitable position. So again, the zero, how many degrees in the circumference the zero is. So as you see here, stage one, neural tissue is more than four, less than five. Here between three and four, here between two and three, here between one and two, between zero and one. Then you start the zero, the zero in 45 degrees, less than 45, more than 45, but less than 90, more than 90, but less than 180, more than 180, but less than 270. So this is the idea of the classification. This is for the average size. The small size is the same, but shifted only one box down. Here, the zero is five. Between four and five is two. Between four and five and the normal is one. Between here and the small size is two. Let's see this. For example, let's have only this column, this diagonal part. Here, between three and four is two in the average size. Between three and four is three in the small size. Between three and four is one in the large size. Again, this one, and this one, and this one, the same. So in the average size, you can put it as two, but in the large size, you put it as one, and in the small size, you put it as three. But it depends the same classification all over. It gives us an impression about the severity of glaucoma. If, it, if you are in the one, two, three, this is the early stages, but if you are in the eight, nine, 10, this is in advanced stages of glaucoma. And also if you follow the same patient over time and you get more changing toward the larger stages, then it's a progression of glaucoma. They published this study to prove that there system of classification is quite strong. And they start to compare the system of classification with the field of vision. And this is the result of their study. In cases of severe glaucoma, according to the field, it's drawn here in red, while moderate glaucoma, according to the field, is drawn in yellow. 
and minimal glaucoma changes in the field is drawn is in green. And as you see here, these are the stages of the classification of the disc. And according to this paper, in the severe cases of disc changes, according to the disc classification, field changes are more on the severe side. But as I see this classification, as you notice here, some cases you get f severe field changes with early part of the classification of the disc. So clinically, I depend to classify my patient as a mild, moderate, severe glaucoma. I depend on both the disc and the field. The worth I would consider it as my key factor for the treatment.